He who is not happy with little will never be happy with much. Happiness and freedom begin with a clear understanding of one principle, some things are within our control, and some things are not. It is only after you have faced up to this fundamental rule and learned to distinguish between what you can and can't control that inner tranquility and outer effectiveness become possible. It is impossible for a man to learn what he thinks he already knows. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Progress is not achieved by luck or accident, but by working on yourself daily. Any person capable of angering you becomes your master. Keep your attention focused entirely on what is truly your own concern and be clear that what belongs to others is their business and none of yours. No matter what happens, it is within my power to turn it to my advantage. Be careful whom you associate with. It is human to imitate the habits of those with whom we interact. We inadvertently adopt their interests, their opinions, their values, and their habit of interpreting events. When something happens, the only thing in your power is your attitude toward it. It is not the things that disturb us, but our interpretation of their significance. Things and people are not what we wish them to be nor are they what they seem to be. They are what they are. Don't be concerned with other people's impressions of you. They are dazzled and deluded by appearances. Stick with your purpose. This alone will strengthen your will and give your life coherence. First say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. We have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. Suffering arises from trying to control what is uncontrollable, or from neglecting what is within our power. Don't explain your philosophy. Embody it. From this instant on, vow to stop disappointing yourself. Separate yourself from the mob. Decide to be extraordinary and do what you need to do, now. He is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not but rejoices for those which he has. There is only one way to happiness and that is to cease worrying about things which are beyond the power of our will. Books are the training weights of the mind. Man is not worried by real problems so much as by his imagined anxieties about real problems. If someone speaks badly of you, do not defend yourself against the accusations, but reply, you obviously don't know about my other vices, otherwise you would have mentioned these as well. Be careful to leave your sons well instructed rather than rich, for the hopes of the instructed are better than the wealth of the ignorant. Let silence be your general rule, or say only what is necessary and in few words. Desire and happiness cannot live together. These are the signs of a wise man, to reprove nobody, to praise nobody, to blame nobody, nor even to speak of himself or his own merits. When you are offended at any man's fault, turn to yourself, and study your own failings. Then you will forget your anger. It's so simple really, if you say you're going to do something, do it. If you start something, finish it. Nothing truly stops you. Nothing truly holds you back. For your own will is always within your control. You can be happy if you know this secret, some things are within your power to control and some things are not. To live a life of virtue, match up your thoughts, words, and deeds. 
We cannot choose our external circumstances, but we can always choose how we respond to them. Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. Have the wisdom to know what cannot be changed, and the strength to change what can. What matters most is what sort of person you are becoming. Wise individuals care only about whom they are today and who they can be tomorrow. The key is to keep company only with people who uplift you, whose presence calls forth your best. To pay homage to beauty is to admire nature, to admire nature is to worship God. When we blather about trivial things, we ourselves become trivial, for our attention gets taken up with trivialities. You become what you give your attention to. Every difficulty in life presents us with an opportunity to turn inward and to invoke our own submerged inner resources. The trials we endure can and should introduce us to our strengths. He who laughs at himself never runs out of things to laugh at. Wisdom means understanding without any doubt that circumstances do not rise to meet our expectations. Events happen as they may. People behave as they will. Any person capable of angering you becomes your master, he can anger you only when you permit yourself to be disturbed by him. If you want to improve, be content to be thought foolish and stupid. Freedom and happiness are won by disregarding things that lie beyond our control. Authentic happiness is always independent of external conditions. Freedom is the only worthy goal in life. It is won by disregarding things that lie beyond our control. Stop aspiring to be anyone other than your own best self, for that does fall within your control. Now is the time to get serious about living your ideals. Once you have determined the spiritual principles you wish to exemplify, abide by these rules as if they were laws, as if it were indeed sinful to compromise them. Don't mind if others don't share your convictions. How long can you afford to put off who you really want to be? Your nobler self cannot wait any longer. You become what you give your attention to. If you yourself don't choose what thoughts and images you expose yourself to, someone else will, and their motives may not be the highest. Freedom and happiness come from understanding, and working with, our limits. Begin at once a program of self-mastery. Stick with your purpose. Do not seek external approval. Do not worry about anything outside of your control. The only things you command are your thoughts and actions. We choose our response. Stop aspiring to be anyone other than your own best self, for that does fall within your control. No great thing is created suddenly. There must be time. Give your best and always be kind. The essence of philosophy is that a man should so live that his happiness shall depend as little as possible on external things. As you think, so you become. Our busy minds are forever jumping to conclusions, manufacturing, and interpreting signs that aren't there. God has entrusted me with myself. Try not to react merely in the moment. Pull back from the situation. Take a wider view. Compose yourself. In trying to please other people, we find ourselves misdirected toward what lies outside our sphere of influence. In doing so, we lose our hold on our life's purpose. Renew every day your conversation with God, do this even in preference to eating. Think more often of God than you breathe. To live a life of virtue, you have to become consistent, even when it isn't convenient, comfortable, or easy. 
Men are not troubled by things themselves, but by their thoughts about them. It is our attitude toward events, not events themselves, which we can control. Nothing is by its own nature calamitous, even death is terrible only if we fear it. An ignorant person is inclined to blame others for his own misfortune. To blame oneself is proof of progress. But the wise man never has to blame another or himself. If evil be spoken of you and it be true, correct yourself, if it be a lie, laugh at it. I have to die. If it is now, well then I die now, if later, then now am I will take my lunch, since the hour for lunch has arrived, and dying I will tend to later. Other people's views and troubles can be contagious. Don't sabotage yourself by unwittingly adopting negative, unproductive attitudes through your associations with others. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.